hi thanks for watching my video today this is going to be a brief seven minute tutorial on how I made this uh, launch tube system kind of based off the military multiple rocket launch system it's going to have well originally I was going to have 32 buses but that turned out to be too many we'll talk about that later in the video here I am working on the legs it's really simple just using shapes that are contained within the level uh, grid map everything in this launch system is made with the prefabs and grid map. Here I'm putting a little couple cross supports. I'm going to do the same thing lower down. Oh, I should have done that. <laughs> and here I am adding some lights, which are really easy to do. You just go up top, click on the little plus sign, and uh, add lights. These are um, not the spotlight, but the, uh, I think it's ambient light or something like that. And you just highlight them, press control, and highlight four of them at a time, and shift, and pull up, and you'll copy them. Makes everything a lot faster. Here I am checking it out at night, see how everything looks. In the background there, you can see my plasma cannon. There it is. And so everything looks good here. I'm going to add a light down below, I think. I think I make it green, green, I think. You just um, changing the power of it right now, changing the color, making it a little bit bigger. And that looks good. So let's turn the lights back on. And here I am adding sound. Um, I made it a kind of like a warehouse or a machine sound inside the tubes, which doesn't really do anything because you never get to hear it. In the video, and the old when I make the video, you never hear it. This is my custom bus I built. It's right there in the lower right hand corner, right there. Um, it's just basically a shell. I'm using the Freightliner FS65 mod, which is awesome. I love that. And here's the bus. So I want to put the bus in there and do a couple of test runs, make sure everything's in place. You know, um, the rails are designed to scrape on the side of the bus slightly. There's probably, if in scale, it would probably be a couple of inches of space on each side. And um, you can see I took off the f roof hatches on the top, the mirrors, the engine's gone, I think the fuel tank's gone. Here I am adding blocks. Um, when I try to do my preliminary first test fire, the bus just started rolling backwards and fell out, so I realized I have to put some stops back here, rotating it at five degree interval intervals. To match it up with the launch tube so it looks even there. So I'm going to do one and just copy it. And it doesn't have to be exact, it's just designed to hit the back bumper or the back door to stop the bus from falling out of the tube. So here I am, almost done with all of them. You can see I have four rows of four, and I'm going to put two buses in each tube. So that's a lot of buses. So here I am. Getting ready to move the bus down. It's alright, they're about to get third party. Same right there. Getting it lined up. And I'm gonna release it here and let it come back and hit that little stopper. Right here. Oh. And that worked out good. Worked out perfect. And I'm gonna do my first shot's gonna be with uh moon gravity. Here I am putting it in moon, earth, moon, this is 1.62, gravity, and fire. So everything looked good. It's going right through the tube. No problems. Here I am going to change it to zero gravity. So everything looked good there. I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to 
continue on and here I am adding all the buses and this turns out to be a problem here shortly as uh, I have a very powerful computer with uh, I'm running dual 1080 Ti graphics cards and SLI and that happened so I do I, I realize I should take off the top layer there's a good view of the buses how they're inside the tubes so this is going to bring me down to um, 4, 8, 12, 12 tubes now, um, 3 rows of 4. I did away with the top row. So that's going to bring me down, I guess, to like 24 buses. And here I am positioning the buses, making sure they're nice and square. I'm using the old world editor here. When it comes to moving the buses, this works better for me, the world editor, the old one. Um, to bring that up, you press Control Shift F11. You have to be in Windows mode. For some things, I like uh, the old World Editor, and for other things, I like the new one. Fair it was very important to keep the buses in uh, synchronized orbit from uh, order from left to right, top to bottom, because I had to hit zero to activate the JDOs, and I wanted everything to be in order. So that's why. And here I am at the almost at the end. My butt, my computer still hasn't crashed thank God and uh, BeamMG has not crashed I'm just making sure there's space on both sides nothing's binding and here I am copy drag it over lift it up I'm almost done almost ready and there it is fully loaded I did it two days of work here I am taking some screenshots And if you want to see the video of this launch, it will be in my next video where I combined all the SSRB and grid map props together. No, I made no, a tutorial no. video on that too. What the fuck? So that's it. Thanks for watching. There's a screenshot of the launch. And please like and subscribe.